Hi, I'm Jeff, a repair technician at Progressive Music, located just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today, we're going to show you how to assemble and disassemble and oil your valves on your trumpet. When you open your trumpet case, there should be nothing on top of your trumpet. The only things in the case should be trumpet, mouthpiece, valve oil, and slide grease. Next, before you play, you want to inspect your trumpet, make sure everything is working properly. These are called the valves. There are three of them on a trumpet. They should all be moving up and down freely. If they are slow or sluggish, it might be time to oil them. If they continue to be slow or sluggish, please bring them to your local repair shop. Next are the tuning slides. This is the main tuning slide of the instrument. They should move in and out freely. Each valve has its own tuning slide. This is the third slide. Second and first. When pulling the slides, make sure to depress the pistons to avoid a popping sound that might be harmful to the instrument. Next, you're going to need to insert your mouthpiece. Your mouthpiece is conical shaped, as is the receiver of the, mouth of the lead pipe, almost like an ice cream cone. You put your mouthpiece in. You should not twist or pop it into place. Just set it in a quarter turn. Do not hit your hand on the mouthpiece. You will get your mouthpiece stuck. If your mouthpiece ever does get stuck, take it to your music teacher or local repair shop. Do not use pliers or any kind of tools from home to remove your mouthpiece. You will cause damage to your instrument. You will break it into pieces. Next, you're ready to play. When you are finished playing, you need to remove your mouthpiece. When you remove your mouthpiece, simply turn and twist out. If it does not come out freely, take it to your music teacher. Next, we're going to show you how to oil your valves. Each valve does need oiled periodically. You unscrew the top cap. Do one at a time, and so you do not get them mixed up and confused. They do need to go in in a proper order. Pull it out about a third of the way. Take out your valve oil. Do a couple of drops. That's all it takes. Over-oiling does cause damage to the instrument. When you go to insert the piston, put it back in. Depress it about halfway and turn it clockwise until it clicks into place. And screw on the cap. Next, your second. Unscrew the cap. Pull it out about a third of the way. A couple of drops. Put it back in. Turn it clockwise until it clicks into place. Screw the cap down tight. Same with the third. Cap off, out a third of the way. A couple of drops. Back in, turn clockwise until it clicks into place. You have now oiled your valves. If you go to blow through your instrument and you feel a restriction or you cannot blow air through, your pistons are most likely in the wrong place. They are numbered individually, number one, two, and three. You have now successfully oiled your trumpet valves. Next, we're going to grease our slides. First, the main tuning slide. Pull it straight out. And you have a paper towel handy to wipe each of the legs dry. This removes any dirt or old grease that is on the slides. Take your slide grease. I use Selmer tuning slide grease and apply small bead small bead to each leg the entire way around
and then place the slide back in to the tubes. Work it in and out, make sure you get the slide all over the legs, all over the inside of the tubes. You're going to repeat the same for the first, second, and third, making sure you depress the piston so you avoid a popping noise. When putting the slide back in, also depress the piston to avoid the popping noise. Next, the second. Thin bead. Press the piston, place slide back in. Third, thin bead. Press the piston, and you have now successfully greased your tuning slides. This concludes our instructional video on the trumpet. If you keep up with your daily maintenance, you will enjoy many years of playability on your trumpet. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video informative and instructional.